This male came today with a dyspnea exertion and post angioplasty was referred for a stress echo and you are going to see why for the reasons we didn't perform a stress echo on this patient. There was a diastolic murmur at the apex and now you can see there is a large marsh popping in and out of the left uh, atrium and there is a center lucency and this is attached to the interatrial septum. No rocket signs, you guys know this is left atrial myxoma. It's a mixed echogenicity with the center lucency and there is hardly any differential in this kind of uh, situations you see this is a central lucency and uh, good idea to subscribe the channel uh, this was mildly obstructing the LV inflow and you can see the LV inflow showing an lazing on the lateral side this is where uh, the blood was actually coming out and on a 3d also you see uh, there is an lazing in LV inflow and if you notice on a 3d from a pical view you can see it's coming from just one area uh, of the LV inflow producing a mild uh, LV inflow obstruction and there was a, a 13 with 12 millimeter of peak and uh, a 7 millimeter of mean gradient across the, uh, the LV inflow. Uh, this is the myxoma which is popping in and out. This is from the apex we are viewing the heart. Uh, that's the mitral valve and uh, during diastole uh, you can see the myxoma coming heading uh, up and down in the, in the left ventricle and that is the myxoma. Surely you can see a central lucency. Our cause of thing was that uh, should we try to look for a place where it is attached because that's important for the surgeon. It was attached with a stalk uh, which was quite thick about a uh, millimeter of me. So good idea to subscribe the channel and I'll keep on posting new and good videos.